Hello and welcome to Pageant mm -hmm. Live's second annual talent contest. I'm Stephanie McGrain, your host for this evening, and I am so excited. If you've been following Pageant Live, you may have remember you may have remembered our our talent contest from last year. It was such a huge success. This year, we're doing things a little bit differently, but it's bound to be amazing. We have lots of great talent, amazing prizes, and to make it all fair, we are giving all videotape submissions to the judges. We also are doing this in two different segments. We are having live performers, and we are also having a videotape segment. And it will be fair because judges will have access to all videotapes. And like I said before, we have an amazing prize package. So to talk a little bit more about that, I want to introduce my amazing and oh-so-handsome co-host for this evening, Kyle Hagerty of Hagerty & Associates. Welcome, Kyle. So excited to be hosting with you tonight. Hello, Stephanie. How are you? Looking beautiful with your pop red lipstick on. Oh, thank you so much. You so did that for me, right? What did you say, Kyle? You did the lipstick for me, right? Yes, I did. Just. For you. Well, well, actually, for the pageant live audience, normally you will see me on Pageant Verite, and um, a segment will be coming up quite soon, so make sure to turn, tune into that. But today, I'm not here as a pageant coach. I'm actually here as the regional director of World Championships of Performing Arts, which is the Olympics for performers, for singers, actors, dancers, instrumentalists. So if you have not auditioned, you know, throughout the year, because I've been traveling the country auditioning, you missed out on a fantastic opportunity. However, today we have individuals who are actually going to compete for scholarships. We have a great prize package. Before I talk about that, let me tell you how they're being judged. Those who have submitted video, those videos have already been sent to the International Selection Committee, so they have already been reviewed. Those submissions will be um, compared to the live performances that we're going to have tonight, and then the winners will be announced very soon, actually, in the next couple of days. So I'm really excited about that. Let's talk about what the judges are going to be looking for. First of all, they're looking for technical ability. So, you know, Stephanie, if they can sing, can they sing? If they dance, you know, do they dance well? If they're an actor or an actress, do they portray their character? You know, we're looking just for the sheer art form. Obviously, do they sell it? You know, am I entertained? Do I want to see it again? You know, would I want to put that person in front of an agent, you know, because there are international agents at this international competition, who would want to possibly book them? Now, for the person that wins the overall competition, which I think the competition is going to be fierce, wouldn't you say, Stephanie? I was just going to ask you, Kyle, do we know or can you let us in and who these judges are or is that kept a secret at this point? Well, it's secret and it's not. The International Selection Committee consists of the Board of World Championships of Performing Arts, and actually they review talent and video submissions from around the world, actually, where over 70 countries are represented. You know, so, so they don't get, let's say, irate phone calls. I won't give their names out, but these are qualified professionals that review talent for a living you know, on the international level. So I promise you they are all vetted and very qualified to judge the Pageant Live Talent Contest. This is so exciting. And what an incredible opportunity to be able to showcase talent in front of these amazing people. Awesome opportunity. One more thing I want to talk about, Stephanie, is I want to talk a little bit more about the prizes. The top winner will get their full entry paid to World Championships, which is held July 2014 in Hollywood, California. The value of that is close to $2,000, and it's just amazing. The runner-ups will get scholarships ranging from $500 down to $100. Also, my company, Hagerty Associates, for the contestants that compete in pageantry competition, will receive training pageant prep scholarships. So we're really excited about that. La Casa Hermosa, for you all who do not know that, they are the premier um, wardrobe and pageant gown specialist out of Florida. They're giving gift certificates to our winners and our finalists, as well as Kai Washington stylists. They have worked with my clients that have gone to Miss America, Miss USA, Miss Universo. You know, you'll get styling lessons from them if you are a finalist in this competition. And finally, Body by Craig. 
Craig is awesome. I've had the opportunity to work with him. Stephanie, I wouldn't want my pageant if it wasn't for Craig. Check the biceps. Yes, everyone see that? Ooh, look yes. at that. Check it out. So on biceps like these, you will love Body by Craig. So those are just some of the prizes that we're giving. Oh my goodness, amazing prizes. I want in on some of those prizes. Well, Stephanie, I'm trying to get you to a national pageant too, but we'll do that in another show. <laughs> All right, Kyle, that sounds great. So what's, what's on board for tonight? Well, we have four amazing performers ready to showcase their talents to us. And Kyle, is there anything else we need to discuss or tell our viewers before we begin? Well, I just want to tell these young ladies that I'm looking very forward to watching them perform. Give it your best. This is an outstanding opportunity. Hundreds of people auditioned throughout the United States to have the opportunity to be on Team USA to represent the United States at international competition. So um, with that said, let's begin. Oh, exciting. Here we go. And ladies and gentlemen, to our viewers out there, our very first performer this evening for Pageant Live's talent show is the one and only Emily Brady. Welcome, Emily. Hi. How's it going, Emily? You doing good? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing well. So tell us a little bit about, tell America about yourself. So I'm 14 years old. I... Um, I've been singing and acting since first grade, and I just love to do all that I do. Okay. Now, are you a thespian and an actress, or are you a pageant girl, or a little bit of both? I'd say I'm more of an actress. <laughs> okay. Okay. Outstanding. So, what are you going to be doing for us today? Today, I'm going to be doing Popular from the musical Wicked. Okay. Why did you select that song? I selected the song because I think it's a really fun song and I think it's very enjoyable. Okay, I look forward to hearing it. Let's do it. Popular, you're gonna be popular. I'll teach you the proper ploys when you talk to boys. Little ways to flirt and plant a I'll show you what shoes to wear, how to fix your hair. Everything that really counts to be popular. I'll help you be popular. Hang with the right cohorts. You'll be good at sports. No slang you got to know. So let's start, because you've got an awfully long way to go. Don't be offended by my frank analysis. Think of it as personality dialysis. Now that I've chosen to become a palacist, a red advisor, there's nobody wiser. Not when it comes to popular. I know about popular. And with the assist from me to be who you'll be, instead of dreary who you were, well, are. There's nothing that can stop you from becoming popular. Lar. La 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 You're gonna make you pop you learn <laughs> When I see depressing creatures with unprepossessing features I remind them on my own behalf to think of celebrated heads of state or specially great communicators. Do they have brains or knowledge? Don't make me laugh. <laughs> they were popular, please. It's all about popular. It's not about aptitude. It's the way you're viewed, so it's very shrewd to be very, very popular, like me. <laughs> wow. Why, Miss Alpha, look at you. You're beautiful. You're welcome. <laughs> and though you protest, you're disinterested. I'm all clandestinely. You're got a grin and bear it, your newfound popularity. Ooh. La, 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 you'll be popular, just not quite as popular as me. Wow. That is really, really good. Thank you. 
Stephanie, you know what was what's really cool about that? Let me tell you what's really cool. In pageants now, you know, talent's only like 90 seconds or two minutes depending on the pageant. Yes, not much time at all. When I tell you, I've never heard the song straight through. So I'm sitting here with my mouth wide open going, oh, so that's what the entire the entire <laughs> sound sounds like. Had no idea. No idea. That was that was that was outstanding. I look forward to seeing her go to Miss America one day. Oh gosh, me too. That was incredible. I love the personality coming through. And it it just comes so natural to her. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So who's next? Well, thank you so much, Emily. And next on the roster, we have Erica Brady, and I believe she will be singing as well. So welcome, Erica. Hi. What's going on, Erica? How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing good. So are you a thespian or a singer or a pageant girl or all of the above? I am an actor and a singer. Okay, so what do we need to do to make you a pageant girl? Because you know that I'm all about pageant girls. <laughs> You know, I've always, I've always wanted to do it. I just never have. I've always been doing plays and shows, so I've never really had time to do pageant stuff. Okay, well, I will gladly change that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll gladly change it. We'll gladly do it. Okay, so what are we doing today? I'm singing "Gimme Gimme" from Thoroughly Modern Millie. So I have a question for you. When you sing that, do you hover um, Sutton Foster? I mean, does she like come alive in you? I. Definitely look to her for all of my inspiration. I love Sutton Foster. Okay, well, anything short of Sutton Foster is unacceptable. So, <laughs> all right, let's do it. Sutton Foster, breathe, breathe. Okay, with me, with me. Take a deep breath. Breathe in. <gasps> Exhale. Think Sutton Foster. Okay, let's hear it. All right. Gimme, 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 that thing called love. I want it. Gimme, gimme, that thing called love. I need it. Highs and lows, tears and laughter. Give me happy ever after. Give me, give me that thing called love. Give me, give me that thing called love. I crave it. Give me, give me that thing called love. I'll brave it. Thick and thin, rich for poor time. Give me years and a lot more time. Give me, give me that thing called love. Give me, give me that thing called love. I'm free now. Give me, give me that thing called love. I see now fly dove sing sparrow. Give me Cupid's famous arrow. Gimme, gimme, that thing called love. I don't care if he's a nobody. In my heart, he'll be a somebody. Somebody to love me. Yes. I mean it. Gimme that thing called love. I want it. Here I am, Saint Valentine. My bags are packed. I'm first in line. Aphrodite, don't forget me. Romeo and Juliet may fly. Dove sing, sparrow. Give me fat boy's famous arrow. Give me, give me that thing called love. 
Wow. <laughs> wow is right. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. What tech you know something I can't have you say that. Whatever town you live in, we need to get you in that local pageant. <laughs> um, I need to dress you. And then then you'll win that pageant, then you'll go to your state pageant. And then you'll win that. And then you go to Miss America. Um, what state do you live in? I live in Oregon. Oh girl. <laughs> Oregon? Yeah. You want to go to Miss America next year? <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, Stephanie, who's next? I, I can't even get into it right now. Thank you. Thank you. You're not back one. Okay. <laughs> OMG. Thing like you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, OMG. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Thank you, Erica. Thank you so much. And next we have the fabulous Maggie Wothy joining us. Welcome, Maggie. Hi. Hey, Maggie. Hey. Okay, now before we get started, I got to go ahead and give Maggie her props and her shout out, okay? For those of you all who do not know, Maggie competed at Miss, Minis Miss Team Minnesota International and got first runner up. She's fierce, she's fabulous, she is a pageant girl. Come on, Maggie, admit it, you're a pageant girl, come on. Yes, I'm Kyle's girl. How about that? Ooh. How about that? <laughs> she's, of, she, she's part of the winner's circle of Haggerty and Associates. However, Maggie, I can't show preferential treatment, so you're going to have to bring it, okay? All right, sounds good. Okay, so what are you singing tonight? I am singing a song that I actually wrote. It's by me. It's called No Ordinary Boy, Merle's Song. Okay. Um, this song, and I'll kind of tell you why I chose this song. Okay. Uh, there was a boy who in my town got in a car accident and was in, put in the hospital in severe condition in a coma and I had came and visited him while he was in the hospital and his family and it was a very hard hard time uh, because it was just all of a sudden. Okay. And after a few weeks he passed away. I was there when he passed away and I had written him this song that I never got a chance to sing to him. And him and his family were huge supporters of my music, my singing in church and at school. And so after he had passed away, two days later, I went into the recording studio, recorded this song, made my first CD, first song I ever wrote, um, played music to, everything. And the family got my first CD and they asked me to sing at his funeral and visitation, and I told Merle, you better get me through this. He did, thank goodness. Um, but this song has been hard for me to sing for a long time, and it's been um, a couple years now since he had passed away. And since it's Easter, I felt that it was very important for me to sing this song. Well, we look forward for you doing it in the honor of him, so let's hear it. All right. <laughs> Yes. 
Carrie Underwood. Oh, thank you. That's that. That is what it's good. So I assume we'll see you at Miss America too. You you have to just say yes. Yes. Okay, great. Okay, Stephanie, I'm done. <laughs> oh, fabulous job, Maggie. You know, it's one thing to sing, but oh my goodness, to write your own music and to perform it and sing guitar, everything all at once. Fabulous job. Great job, Maggie. Thank you, Maggie. And next up, we have the beautiful Selena Rowland. Welcome, Selena. Hi. Hi, Selena. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing good. How old are you? I'm nine years old. You're nine. And what state do you live in? Um, Buffalo. I didn't hear you. What? Buffalo. Okay. All right. And do you do pageants? No. Huh? Have you ever done a pageant? No. I try to turn every girl I know into a pageant girl, so I need you to let me turn you into a pageant girl. Well, um, I don't know. <laughs> I can do that for you. So what are you singing for us today? Um, I'm going to sing a song I wrote that's going to be a cappella, and it's called My Dreamland. Okay, okay, awesome. Let's hear it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm sitting at my window. Looking at the corner of the world, seeing the women in their fancy gowns, staring at the ocean, wavy waves. One, two, three, four. This is my world, and this is my life, and this is the time to look around. No matter what's holding me back, I'll break right through the I also think what I want to do with my life. Also think it takes some time to make it right. I am that woman in that fancy gown. Looking back and passing by the wavy waves. This is my world and this is my life. And this is our time to look around. No matter what's holding me back, I'll break right through the wall. Let's go, 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 let's go,
very yeah. odd. That was yeah. cool. How long have you been singing? Um, I think since I was four years old. Okay, so do you want to be on Broadway? You want to do videos? You want to be on TV? What do you want to do? Um, maybe Broadway. Broadway? I see that. I'll, I, will put, I will buy the first ticket to come see you. Thank you. You're welcome, Stephanie. That was awesome. Oh, my goodness. That was wonderful. And, Selena, did you say that you are just nine years old? Mm -hmm. Wow. What an amazing voice for such a young girl. Thank you. Wonderful job. Thank you, Selena. You're welcome. And I want to say thank you to all of the fabulous live performers this evening. Absolutely. This, uh, yes, they were, they were incredible. This concludes the first half of Pageant Live's second annual talent show. We will resume shortly with, with the, the second half of our show where we will present to you the videotape submissions of the rest of the performers. And we want to say thanks again to all of our fabulous sponsors. Absolutely. Let's thank Formal Envy of um, Fredericksburg, Virginia. Let's thank Charles Martin Photography, who was giving a prize. Body by Craig, remember the biceps that I showed you? Yes. That's right. Obviously, the staff of my company who have agreed to give pageant training scholarship. And, of course, World Championships of Performing Arts. You can go to www.wcopa.com um, to find out all about World Championships. It is the Olympics for performers, models, and entertainers with over $130,000 in scholarships as well as all the major agents and casting scouts will be in attendance. So it's going to be an outstanding opportunity. I wish luck to all of these young ladies, not only in this contest, but in their future as dynamic performers. I completely agree with you, Kyle. Absolutely. And to our viewers, stay tuned. We will be back shortly with the remaining submissions of our entrance. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. And we'll see you very soon for the second half. Bye-bye. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the second half of Pageant Live's talent show. We just completed the first half with our phenomenal performers performing live, and we are back for the second half of our videotape submissions. And I'm joined by um, my amazing and handsome co-host, Kyle Haggerty. Hello, Kyle. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hello, Pageant Live audience. I'm so thrilled to be on Pageant Live with, with my favorite lovely diva, Miss Stephanie McGrain. Woo! We love Stephanie. We love Stephanie. Well, we're going to do our second half. And um, just so you know, these videos have been previously submitted to the International Selection Committee for the World Championships of Performing Arts, who will be judging. So they have be looking at who performed live as they've already looked at who have submitted video, so it is judged fairly. We will be looking for the contestants' technical ability, their showmanship, their style, their entertainment value, as I like to say, would I want to see it again and put them in front of an agent. We have phenomenal sponsors. I, the show last year was outstanding. Not only is it great this year, but the prize package is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to do a quick run of our sponsors and then we'll, we'll get it going. Obviously, World Championship, the winner, will get a full entry valued at almost $2,000 to compete at the international competition held in Hollywood, California this July. The website is www.wcopa.com. Of course, my company, Haggerty & Associates, will be giving a prize pageant prep, prep scholarship, as well as formal envy for clothing attire, La Casa Hamersa, outstanding international designer, Robin Fleming, Charles Martin Photography, Body by Craig, Biceps, yes, as well as Kai Washington Styling out of Washington, D.C. Outstanding prize package. So um, whoever wins and place and, you know, make it to the final cut, they got a lot to win. 
Oh my goodness, fabulous prizes. So well, excited. Yeah, I am excited too. So let's roll it. So Stephanie, what we got today? Absolutely. Well, our first video submission is from Anna Hyatt, and she is going to be performing a hula dance for us this evening to Hula Rock Mama. So very excited to see that, and this is Anna Hyatt. Well, hold on a second. Hold on before you roll the tape. Let's, let's talk about this hula thing for a minute. I think that hula is, is one of two things. It's either really good or it's really bad. So I'm a little bit nervous here for Anna. You know, I've been to Miss America a few times, and I've seen Miss Hawaii, for whatever reason, tends to do a hula dance. I think it's the only state that can do hula and make it to the top five at a national pageant. I just don't get it. So, Anna, hopefully it's Miss America worthy. I look very forward to it. So, Stephanie, let's roll the tape. That sounds great, Kyle. Here we go. Wow. Well, Anna definitely brought the moves, that's for sure. Don't you agree, Kyle? I, I do agree. I do agree. Um, now, with that performance, you know, I, for those of you all who do not know, I've danced professionally um, for many years, and I do all forms of dance. Now, I must say, hula is not one of them, you know, so um, it's not quite my area of expertise. You know, however, um, I'm feeling very so you think you can dance judge now. So I guess let me say what's good. Let's talk about what's good first, and then I'll say well, what we need to work on. Ugh. Okay. I thought her facial expressions was good. I thought her blocking was good. Um, I'll tell you what was really good. I like to see someone who's a little bit more mature actually get up and do something really great like that. I don't know, Stephanie, what do you think? 
Oh my gosh, I loved it. I wish I could do what she did. Yeah, a dancer, I am not. But I loved her moves. I loved her flow. I thought she did a fabulous job. But but you know something? I need I need I need more costume though. I need more costume. I need I just need more. But you know something though? I was entertained and I thought it was cute. So, you know, thumbs up to Anna. Thumbs up, Anna, call me. Let's talk, let, let, but we got let's talk about costume though. We need to you know, if we're if we're trying to go to Hollywood, we need to upgrade that a little bit. But outside of that, you're flawless. Okay, all right, Stephanie, who's my next victim? Ooh, our next competitor is Shaylin Listen, and she is going to be performing "How Do I Live" by Leanne Rhymes. And Shaylin was also a finalist in American Idol. So very excited. She's a, uh, a past guest of Pageant Live, so we're very excited to have her back. Okay, but, okay, here's the thing with American Idol. Unfortunately, it's not just based on talent. You know, so just the mere fact that she made it that far, you know, like to the final cut or the top 100 or whatever she made it to, is outstanding. But, you know, every single time I watch it or I say I'm going to watch it, they have about two or three people that have no business on there. So then I just stop watching it. So, <laughs> <laughs> why is that? So I just stopped watching it because, you know, they want to say that it's a talent contest. Let me tell you something. American Idol have nothing on the show The Voice. You know, the show The Voice, those are real singers. So for Shaylin, give up the American Idol thing. It was cute for you that you made the 100. Reboot. Go to The Voice, and hopefully you'll make it to the show. But let's see if you got what it takes. So let's roll it. Awesome. Sounds great. Shaylin Listen is next. How do I go on if you ever leave? Well, baby, you would take away everything. I need you with me. Well, baby, don't you know that you're everything good in my life? Hey. Wow, loved it. Gorgeous voice. Loved her voice. Kyle, what'd you think? Uh, she, she's beautiful. She's a very pretty girl, you know, um, and the thing that I like about it is that the voice is true. A lot of times people can't sing a cappella, you know, and when you can sing without music and, you know, just sound wonderful and the voice is clear, the technique is on, it's obviously that, you know, it's obvious that her training, you know, shines through with that. But, you know, you know what I would say, there was always something that needs to be worked on. Girl, give me some color with your outfit. Work with me here. You're very pretty. Your voice is great. But if you're going to be trying to get on TV, I need some color. You know, and I'm not opposed to a little bit of cleavage, you know, a sled, a train, some rhinestones, some beats. Just teasing. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried to put everybody in a pageant. I, I really, really am. So, <laughs> I, I definitely think that she should think about going on The Voice, going on a true talent show, not just some reality show of some kind, you know, where it's more about popularity. I don't know. What, what are your thoughts on that, Stephanie? Because you know, some of these shows are based on audience votes and not necessarily, you know, how talented the person is. What do you think about that? Oh, my goodness. You know, and, and when it turns into a popularity contest, you know, it, 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 the amount of talent that you have, it, it doesn't mean anything. So if you are trying to get votes, yeah, what difference does it make? You can be the most talented person on stage, you know, but it may not matter if you're I, just looking at votes. Yeah, I remember a couple of years ago that um, there was this guy, I think his name was Sanjay or something, he had this big, huge mohawk. Yes. Kind of thing, you know, and all the girls loved him and, you know, and so on, but had no kind of voice whatsoever. You know, no, he really, he really didn't. So 
Anyway, with that said, you know, and also the way that I understand is that she's a former title holder or something that she's done pageants before. You know, I want every girl to do a pageant, so. Oh, that's right. I, I think everyone should do a pageant, too. I really do. <laughs> okay. All right, well, okay, who's my next victim? Who's up next? She the talent portion down, so she's set. <laughs> that, that she does. That she does. Now, I don't need to discuss wardrobe with her. You know, I have to do that. But outside of that, she's a pretty girl and we're ready. So, who's up next? Well, our next competitor is Candy Kielbasa, and she is going to be singing for us. And let me quick check my notes. I can tell you what she will be singing. And I just got an interesting piece of information. Shaylin was Royal International Miss Oklahoma. Oh! Uh, yay, a pageant girl, yay! Now, no offense to the girls that don't do pageants, but if you got this kind of talent, and if you're pretty, I gotta put you in a pageant, so. <laughs> so, Shaylin, give Kyle a call. <laughs> www.weproducewinners.com Reach out to me. <laughs> so, who's up next, Stephanie? It is Candy Kilbasa, and she is going to be performing for us. Um, she is performing If I Die Young by the band Perry. So Candy is up next. Okay, what what style of song is that? Do you know? You know, I, I've heard it quite often. I, I love the song. And uh, are you familiar with the band Perry? I am not. Okay. If I can't sing along with it, I have a problem. Well, I can't sing along really with anything. <laughs> I, I can't okay, even sing it, Happy Birthday, so. Is it, is it country? <laughs> Is it country? Yes, country. Okay, stop. I'm a black man with an attitude. I don't do country. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you'll like the song. This okay, is awesome let song. Me, okay, let's do this. I will find my cowboy boots. You go ahead and you put her on, and let me see if I can find something to get in the moment. So go ahead. Okay, sounds good. And you find those boots. <laughs> down on a bed of roses, sink me in the river, Anton, send me away with the words of a love song, oh, 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 Lord, make me a rainbow, shine down on my mother, she'll know I'm safe with you when she stands into my colors, oh, and life ain't always what you think it ought to be, no. Ain't even gray, but she buries her baby The sharp knife of a short life Well, I've had just enough time If I die young, bury me in satin Lay me down on a bed of roses Sink me in the river at dawn Send me away with the words of a love song The sharp knife of a shore life Well, I've had just enough time And I'll be wearing white When I come into your kingdom And my green as a ring on my little cold finger I've never known the love and I'm a man Here in town says you love me forever Who would have thought forever Could be severed by The sharp knife of a short life Well, I've had just enough time If I die young, bury me in satin Lay me down my thoughts oh no i'll sell them for a dollar there was so much more after i'm a goner and maybe then you'll hear the words i've been singing funny when you're dead how people start listening if i 
Oh, Kyle, I love that song. Fabulous job, Candy. Kyle, what were, what are your thoughts on Candy's performance? <laughs> Let's just say that the only thing I like about country are my alligator shoes. <laughs> Did you find those cowboy boots? <laughs> this is the closest. <laughs> this is the closest thing that I have to cowboy boots. Are my alligator shoes. Check them out. Aren't they cute? I love them. Okay, great. Um, well, I'm feeling very Simon right now with American Idol. Um, wow. Okay. Let's get rid of the glasses. Let's do the hair. We need some contouring. We need some powder. I need an outfit. I need, I need a vocal track without vocals on it. Um, but I appreciate her enthusiasm. Okay. Wonderful. So I have a question now, and you know, I'm I don't know much about singing, but in terms of performing, should I? If I was gonna sing, should I be singing without vocals behind me? Um, that would be preferred, especially when you are competing, um, because when judges are listening to you, they want to hear you. It's okay to have a musical arrangement, but when you're singing on top of vocals. It really camouflages the fact if you can sing or if you cannot sing. You know, also, too, when you do a video submission, and I'm not talking about this last performer, but just in general, you need to take into consideration what you're wearing. You need to take consideration of your lighting. You know, because a lot of times in this day of social media, and, you know, people do virtual auditions now. You know, a lot of times you can audition and don't even have to be in the same room with the person. You have to start looking at the entire presentation you know, of, of what you're doing. This young lady did not have a bad voice. You know, it, it wasn't, it wasn't bad, you know, but the problem was is that the whole presentation of it, in my opinion, was off, you know, but then again, you know, but that's why people, you know, come to me and, and go to people to learn how to package themselves. So I would say to that young lady, reach out to me. And if it's something that you really want to pursue, you know, being a vocalist or a performer or whatever, or even if you want to transition into pageants, you know, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. But I appreciate your gumption in submitting the tape. And, you know, I will look at it as, as well as the International Selection Committee. And, you know, we look forward to letting you know what we think. Awesome. So. And speaking of that, Kyle, yes. I should let everyone know that on Tuesday night during our regular pageant live show, you will be joining us to announce the winners. Is that correct? Yes, I will. I will be there, and I'm looking very forward to it. So, um, you know, we will be deliberating over the next day or so, and um, we'll be here live to um, find out who wins that great prize of their full entry to World Championships, the Olympics for performers, as well as all the great prizes from our sponsors. So, yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, fabulous. Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't miss it. You'll find out the new winners of those fabulous prizes. That's and nice. next we have Amy and her daughter Grace Yaniak from Illinois Performing Don't Surrender. And Kyle, I, I want to mention before we show Amy's video that she is doing this in tribute to the tornado victims of Washington, Illinois. And I, I think it's incredible what she's doing and trying to get the word out and create support um, to help the people, the people that are still homeless. Mm -hmm. And their town is still putting the pieces back together. So next we have Amy and Grace Yaniak. Excellent.
that sounded great. Oh my goodness. I completely agree. Love this mother-daughter duo. Oh my goodness. And these are two of the sweetest people on earth. Love them so much. Fantastic voices. Love them. Absolutely. Um, at the World Championships of Performing Arts, there are duets that compete internationally from around the world. So, you know, it would be really great um, if they had the opportunity to go. Um, they were just wonderful. You know, it's nice to see families that perform, you know, perform together. You know, my mother was a dancer as well, and my grandfather was a singer. So I come from a family background of performers as well. I'm a pretty decent singer, but God gave me the gift to dance. So anyone that can belt out notes like that, you know, they get a thumbs up from me. And I have a special preference for this group is because I'm from Chicago, Illinois. You know, so, you know, I, you know, the greatest state in the union, you know, I would like to say. So if the weather was a little bit better, I would move back to Illinois. But, you know, back at home, y'all get way too much snow. So I'll stay in Virginia for a little bit longer. So who's next? Wonderful. Well, next and our last videotaped submission for this evening comes from Haley Kilgore. And she will be performing Astonishing from Little Women. Fantastic. Now, I think Haley is actually with us on the phone. Haley, are you there? Yes? Well, why don't we do this? Why don't we run her video, and if she is with us, we'll go ahead and interview. I would love to speak with her. Oh, goodness, me too. We'll, we'll roll the video, talk to her after. Sounds Absolutely. like a plan. My name is Haley Kilgore. I am from Oregon, and I will be singing Astonishing from the musical Little Women. I thought home was all I'd ever want. My attic, all I'd ever need. Though nothing seems the way it was before. And I don't know how to proceed. I only know I'm meant for something more. I've got to know if I can be astonishing, astonishing. I'll find my way. I'll find it. Okay, please tell me she was like the talent winner at Miss Oregon. Please. <laughs> tell me something. Tell me. Please tell me. Is she on the phone? Tech, tech crew, oh tell me. Oh my goodness, me. Kylie thinks she's on the phone. Yes, I think we have her, so okay. we can ask her. Excellent. So excited to talk to her. Okay. Haley, are you there? Yes, I am. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Haley. Fabulous job. Thank you so much. Haley, how old are you? How old are you? I'm 15. Have you been to Miss Oregon's Outstanding Team? I'm going to do Miss Rhea Rivers. I'm going to compete next year. 
I had to give up a few titles this year. Okay, I need you to call me because I'm going to get you to Miss America. That talent must be on the Miss America stage or the Miss America Outstanding Teen stage. Amazing. Thank you so much. Absolutely amazing. Now, is that God given or are you technically trained or both? Um, <laughs> I've trained for a few years and I have a coach um, to help train on um, my high school choir. Um, I'm just so happy that I have the gifts that I have. Now, what do you what do you want to do with that gift? What are your future plans? I didn't hear that. Sorry. What what are your future plans with your voice? How do you plan to use your oh. gift? Well, right now I'm just having fun traveling around the Pacific Northwest with my voice. I've competed in many pageant and talent competitions around the state and nationally. Um, I like singing the national anthem for Oregon State sports and I just want to see where I can take it from there. Stephanie, I have nothing else to say. I'm highly impressed. <laughs> so am I. Incredible! And again, at such a young age. Wow. Wow. Thank Haley, thank you so much. It was awesome. Thank you so much, both of you. Thank you, Haley. So glad you could join us by phone. Yes, I am so glad I got to be here. Take care. Wow, Kyle, that was amazing. Yeah, that was I, I think all of our performers were fabulous. I yeah, think yeah. the judges are going to have a very difficult decision. Yes, we will be reviewing all tonight as well as tomorrow for me to come back on Tuesday. So it's going to be absolutely awesome. Got my notes. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. Excellent. Pageant Live, Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't miss it. Tune in to find out the winners. Excellent. Before, and we want to say thank you to all of those fabulous sponsors of the talent show. Absolutely. And just again, um, please go to www.wcopa.com as well as you can go to www.weproducewinners.com to get further information on all those sponsors and the prizes. Excellent. Wonderful. Oh my gosh, Kyle, it was fabulous hosting with you tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. Great time, Stephanie. Thank you for having me. Thank you, and we'll see you Tuesday evening for the announcement of the winners. Thanks to all of the viewers for tuning in. Join us Tuesday at pageantlive.com. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.